passenger is setting the hand-actuated stop sign for the flag stop at Green Valley. The timetable listed times at every station for the local trains, but they didn't stop unless passengers were waiting. The 451 460 series cars, built by St. Louis Car Company and delivered in 1945, were the last built for the CA&E. Although they looked much the same on the outside as their predecessors, they had many changes. The weight was cut to 43 tons, about the same as the wooden cars built 40 years earlier. Street Expressway was built. Through trains to Chicago were discontinued, and two loops were built at Forest Park so that passengers could interchange with the CTA, Chicago Transit Authority. This was intended only as a temporary measure. Both CTA and Aurora trains would eventually use the median strip of the expressway. An elaborate relocation of the CA&E was built in the Deplaine First Avenue area. Heavy rail, rock ballast, block signals, and a brand new bridge across the Des River. But none were ever used. The sticking point was terminal facilities for the Aurora Line in downtown Chicago. There was insufficient space to store cars, and the rapidly increasing passenger load on the CTA with its many intermediate stops.